chances are you go to school and you go into a computer room and then within that computer room you've got loads of computers and they are connected together to a network via wires now it's one of those things that you have probably not thought about but how those wires are organized and how they all connect together is actually really important for how well it functions as a network you've got maybe dozens maybe hundreds of computers in that school so it's not like a uh, small network you can arrange at home how those computers are all connected together is called a topology and there's two that you need to be aware of first off is the star topology and the second topology you need to know is mesh and we're going to cover um, both of them right now and talk about the advantages and disadvantages of them both first off then star so a star topology looks a little bit like this. If these boxes represent computers, um, then in the middle of those boxes is this device called a switch. And have a look at the network hardware video if you're not sure uh, what a switch is. But basically, it allows uh, it connects devices on a network together. So all these different devices. Now that could be a PC. That could be a PC. Uh, that could be a PC and let's say one of these is a printer they all get connected together um, and then in the middle of that is a switch that's really good I mean there was older te topologies which were nowhere near as sort of efficient at this it means it's very easy to add extra items onto the star network I just add another PC to it and then connect it, a new wire to the switch and I'm done but obviously these wires can sort of add up over time the big problem that I have with a star network is this here in that first off a lot of data is being funneled through one piece of equipment so that can get a little bit overloaded okay so that's an initial problem that we have to worry about for star networks the other problem is what happens if this happens if the switch suddenly goes down if it breaks well it means that all of these computers suddenly can't connect to the network and so you can lose a lot of connectivity at once have you ever been in that situation where all the computers in a computer room uh, have gone down i have as a teacher and i can tell you it's not much fun so we're looking for advantages and disadvantages. We can say for a, a Star Wars network is definitely easy to set up um, and it's definitely easy to add computers to uh, as well to it. But a definite downside is that if the switch breaks, the whole network fails. And also you've got a lot of traffic going through the switch. So let's sort of compare and contrast this to the mesh network, which we're going to draw over here. Now, unlike um, the uh, the star network what we find with a mesh network is there's no central device which is controlling everything you've just got all computers connected to often more than one computer to the point where every computer will have a couple of options to move messages about so for example if I'm sending a message uh, from this computer here to this computer here it can go along this wire then it can go along this wire but what happens if that wire gets broken? Well, not a problem because I can reroute it around here. And that's one of the beauties of a network, a mesh network, is that it is very fault tolerant, which means that if I end up with a, with a network cable getting cut, or if I end up with one of these PCs here going down, um, then it doesn't matter because a message being sent from one computer to another should always be able to find an alternative route. So that is a clear advantage. Another potential advantage is that I can really sort of start to maximize the amount of traffic that I can possibly get through this mesh network. If I've got this set up, I haven't got everything going through a central point anymore. So I could be sending I could potentially be sending a lot of data between these two computers and a lot of data between uh, let's do these two computers and and I'm not using the same network cable so that could potentially be faster. But let's just deal with a big disadvantage of this and that this can be a right pain to set up. I mean, if you, you probably will not have a mesh network in your school simply because if you're dealing with cables, then you are dealing with a lot of, uh, well, you simply have to lay those cables down in order to try and figure out how they can get from PC to PC. So it's much harder to set up if you're dealing with a wide network. And even if you get this set up wirelessly so you don't have to worry about the cables, well, there's still a lot more connections going on in the mesh network. So it just takes longer to maintain. There's more possible points for individual connections from PC to PC uh, to go down. So there are your big differences between star and mesh networks. If you found that video useful, please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel. Keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here.